This right here might be the first full apparition caught on camera ever. y'all deep fried noodles that partake in the skadoosh and we are here today to talk about some spooky ish are you ready me and my colorful freaking glasses are we got some high energy today because again we are doing standing videos. I love standing videos, you know? Good old top five spooking out of my pooper while we can be up and have some energy. But today we're gonna be looking at the top five scariest sightings of ghosts or demons or whatever you get in abandoned places. Last time I reviewed some ghost sightings, y'all really freaking liked it and I love looking at this because you know your boy has a lot, and I'm talking a lot, of ex. Experience, Spanish for experience. In debunking ghost sightings. I have had my fair share of crazy experiences in ghost towns and mines and abandoned hospitals, all that good stuff. We've had some real stuff. We've had some stuff that was very debunkable. Let's get into the first one, which is a ghost sighting at an abandoned mine. Boom, boom, boom. This first one takes place at an abandoned mine called the Horton Mine. There's this channel called Exploring Abandoned Mines. They go literally everywhere. When we went to Cerro Gordo, we like looked up this guy because he literally goes to every mine across the United States. Anyway, a long time ago, he went to this Horton Mine and filmed a video, which was really shocking because in the midst of going deep into this hole, he saw a chain swinging just hanging out, doing his little dangly noodle thing, you know, kind of like you guys. And then he was like, I'm gonna get the foot out of here. So he skirted on out of there, but then was like, wait, clickbait. This is awesome. I gotta go back. So one summer later, he comes back and hears some crazy stuff. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now his video is still up and actually it's gotten a lot of attention because of how creepy it is. He like goes in for like 600 feet inside this deep, scary, wet hole. He comes up to what looks like a mine shaft. There is like this big fall off like right in front of him. And all of a sudden, you know, he's going about his day. He's talking about the mine. He's explaining what's happening and then this happens. So he's just chilling. All the cascading water and um what the fuck is that? And then randomly. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Okay. What? He is in the middle of an abandoned mine by himself. And you can see that this is just by himself because he pans back and forth. You can see the entire abandoned mine. And he starts hearing not only voices, but machinery going off. You can hear beeps, talking, like legit voices. You can hear the words that they're saying. How would there be like electricity back there? It's one abandoned mine, he's there by himself. This got so much commotion that a bunch of people on Reddit actually took that audio and took out all like the rainfall. Yeah, it's like wet in there. There's a lot of driplets or whatever and it's kind of hard to hear so the most notable like translation if you really listen to the audio and you like think about it it is thought that the voice says why trespass are you ready to die you have come too close to us now that it is time to die, which is really scary. It really isn't debunkable. Or at least from my perspective, I don't think I could debunk this. Like it literally is the dude alone in a mine that's obviously has no electricity, but you're hearing actual voices and machinery start to work. I don't know how this would happen. Anyway, let's move on to number four. <laughs> All right, number four is a pretty quick one because it is so unclear as to what is happening and which is why I need you guys' help to help me figure out what was going on and is this a real video? To me, it's very difficult to like debunk this because it's pretty obvious what's happening in the video, but at the same time, there's so little information that I could be wrong. So here's an abandoned prison. It's obvious that this is some sort of like CCTV, like some sort of uh, like security camera on the outskirts of the prison. However, you can see like a giant fence, bunch of doors. It's very kind of like run down. And that's about the extent of my knowledge. But what is very, very clear in this video is that there is some sort of like 
dark figure thing that's easily being able to move from the first story to the second story to the first story like very quickly. So with that being said, I just really don't know if this would be a human or an animal and the way that it seamlessly like flies up and down, I have no idea. So you see like in the bottom left hand corner, all of a sudden just the shadow and it easily climbs up and it's obviously there. And you can even see it going around poles and then going back inside a door. To me, the more and more I watch that, the more I gotta say like, hmm, this kinda seems like it could be CGI or some sort of editing effect, but it does go like behind the poles and it does go like inside the door. So it, it does seem like it's actually at the place instead of just placed on top of the footage. You know what I'm saying? Like if it were to be edited, I feel like it wouldn't be able to go in between all those doors. I don't know. Super weird. That was just a quick one because it, it, it was such like a up in the air, like what happened at this prison? So if you know about this one, please comment down below. On to number three. I got red on my red glasses for this one because this one's a spooky one. So this one takes place at Taylor Memorial Hospital. Yeah, we got a freaking abandoned hospital up in the beach. This hospital was a very famous one because it had hundreds of thousands of patients all in the southern area and there was not another hospital very nearby. So this one was extremely popular. However, because it was so popular, that means there was a lot of people that died there, which is crazy because the longer and longer that this place was open, the more and more the patients would report that there's paranormal activity inside. This place took on hundreds of thousands of patients and so many died there. And there was report after report after report of weird like people in the hallway, screeches, like things moving on their own. They finally ended up closing down this hospital in 1977. Yes, so that means it's been like 50 years for this guy abandoned. And you'd be like, okay, why is this awesome structure that once was so popular still not renovated? Which is what makes this story so interesting. Actually, there was a company that bought this hospital and was going to turn it to an office building. Now, they shut it down for a couple years. They started working on it. Randomly, the construction halted out of nowhere. And the people of the town got so confused. They're like, hey, why, why aren't we building this office building anymore? And the construction company literally said they had to stop working because of how how many paranormal occurrences? You know, you wouldn't think that a bunch of construction guys that are like out there working every single day are just scared of a couple ghosts, but it was that bad. 25 years later, this show called Ghost Stalkers caught something on camera. And it's crazy because this is one of the first shows to do paranormal. This right here might be the first full apparition caught on camera ever. All right, so mind you, this is a TV show, so that raises two questions. One, if the TV show needed ratings, it could fake things. But two, it also has way higher budgets and better equipment to capture things. And this was still like 25 years ago where they didn't have like absolutely crazy CGI. So I'm kind of like up in the air of like whether or not this is real, but a lot, a lot, a lot of people believe this one. Let's watch. So he's that? going in. Replays show what seems to be a solid figure walking by the incinerator room. The check-in camera has captured something shocking. So check this out. Full body movement. Like it is definitely human. You can see the legs. It seems to be headed right for Chad, and I have no way to warn him. I don't know about you, but oh my god. This went down on history and was super, super like famous with this like Ghost Stalkers channel. The viewers started calling up the tall man because literally like you can't even see like where his shoulders is. He's so tall, he's walking through these doors. But I don't know about you, but I have yet to see a very convincing apparition. Like I always talk about this that like, yeah, I believe in energy and like things being able to communicate, but I don't really believe in apparitions. Like the whole like, oh, I can see like a white figure like you know in the distance kind of like opaque or whatever like that I don't really believe that but this is probably the most convincing thing I've seen however I do want to say it's on a TV show again so I don't know, man. why would it just happen for the TV show and no one's ever seen this ever again I don't know that's up to you to decide but I just want to figure out where this freaking tall man is going and why is he so tall why can't you know give me like a foot please I really need it 
So for number two, we're going down the list of famous TV shows that caught ghosts on camera. To talk to ghosts, shit. We're talking to ghosts today. But basically one of the most famous shows ever is called Ghost Hunters. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but this show is the number one longest lasting show, I think reality show ever, like 15, 16 seasons or something like that. I think it might be more now. Anyway, what's crazy about this is it is one of the most famous ghost sightings ever. Like you guys might have seen this before because of how famous it is. This was I think on the very first season of Ghost Hunters ever and because of this clip that you're about to see right now that is what launched their 15 plus season show Ghost Hunters. Like that is how famous this is and that is why so many people have viewed this and they still think it's like real. So if that's not enough to convince you I don't know what is. But anyway let's get into it. Alright so the Ghost Hunters went to this abandoned Goldfield Hotel. Now this was apparently a very richy rich hotel. It was like super elegant. It was like a Biltmore type hotel. Like very nice. However, because it dealt with some very high end people, it was also known for crazy like murders and people to go like missing. I don't know if there was just some sketchy stuff going down at this hotel or just a lot of these richy people like, you know, decided to kill in this hotel. I don't know, but it got a bad name for itself. It then closed to the public in 1945 and has not been open since. Strange again why these like nice Nice buildings are never like refurbished into something other because of how haunted they are. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and we're just gonna watch this guy, but yeah. One of the ghost hunters is going in there taunting this ghost and obviously the point of their entire channel is to find a ghost sighting. They're old men and whatnot like that so they shouldn't be real like scared or whatever. But anyway, he's taunting this ghost and watch what happens. Is that you? Making all that noise? What room? So apparently this is like the most haunted room. Is that you making all the noise? Holy f Oh my god! Holy Wait. Yo! Okay, so basically, so he goes into this room, apparently this is the haunted like ballroom or whatever like that. He shines his camera and his flashlight, and you can see on his friend's flashlight that there is this brick that randomly, out of nowhere, and obviously no one's around, flies across the entire room. No, it's not just like a little moving, it is like a full on heavy brick flies across the room immediately when he's taunting them, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. So listen to what they say here. How could we run from something that we've been trying to capture for months? That is a really good statement. You know, it's like, if this whole show is about capturing things, you could feel the genuine fear in these guys. Like, I don't know if you watch Ghost Hunters, but like, usually when they capture something, they're not afraid. So the fact that this like, brick flies across the wall, and these guys are full grown men, screaming for their lives. Like, I don't know if they're just like, amazing actors, but you can feel the fear in their voice. Overall, I think, because this one is probably one of the most famous ever seen, I believe it. However, I do want to raise one flag on this. If you see like right before the brick flies over, there's one, a cut between scenes. So I don't know if the, like the scene is like too long or you know, TV shows have their own like cutting system. They make it like super, super, super fast. Anyway, it cuts to about like two seconds before this brick flies. And I also want to say that for some reason, the friend's flashlight was perfectly placed on this brick before it moved. So I'm not saying it's fake, but I'm just saying that it cut right to the moment where the flashlight was on the brick and then the brick moved. So it's just almost too perfect. But again, that also might be the reason why it's so famous because it was so perfect. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Let me know in the comments what you believe. On to number one. All right guys, number one actually takes place in my hometown, Kansas City. In this place called the Sally House, which is the most haunted place in 
Kansas. But before that, I just want to say that a lot of people that watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you're cool, if you're a skadoosh nude, please take the three seconds it takes just to go down there, click subscribe, click like if you want to, it just motivates me to do these more videos, do these more videos. Yeah. Yeah, that would mean a lot. I would absolutely appreciate it. And again, thank you guys so much for all the support of the merch. You guys sold out the Explore merch like that. You guys sold out my personal merch like that. So we are awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's get back to the spooky stuff. All right, like I said, Sally House, Kansas City, super spooky. These two guys from actually BuzzFeed Unsolved. So yeah, we're going down the frickin' list. We got Ghost Stalkers, we got Ghost Hunters, and we got BuzzFeed Unsolved. We're literally taking all their best clips. <laughs> Uh, but that's why it's top five. Anyway guys, I really really like this clip because unlike all the fuzzy footage or like the sounds in the distance, they truly do capture something on camera and it happens multiple times. And you can see their genuine reactions to it. We're gonna skip all the BS, I'm just gonna give you a quick summary. These guys go into the Sally house, they're trying to spend the night, they get to the kitchen and stuff starts happening. Let's see what happens. We are in the kitchen. Please well, turn the, the light on for us. Please don't. They're looking at the uh, flashlight that they put. That. Demon! Stop it! Stop talking to it! No, I just want to talk to the demon! <laughs> we met a pal named Father Thomas. He told us not to talk to you, but I think you guys are swell. I would do nothing to He literally talked to a pastor about this. Why would he do this? Them in any way. If you like the guy, stay here. Turn the light on. You're a fucking crazy, Shane. If you don't like us, turn it on. Please don't turn it on. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> He's screaming so much. Bro, I love this clip because you can tell they're like genuinely interested in this. One guy is freaking out. The other guy's like, oh my god, we just caught something on camera. Woo! Uh, okay, let's continue. What the fuck? Dude, oh, insane. Shit. They caught they caught a freaking flashlight turning on. Where's my holy water? Where's my holy water? If you actually don't like us, please just turn it on. I don't think I don't think they have the power to turn it back on again, frankly. I really think they don't. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, no! Dude, twice! Freaking twice, dude. Okay, so not only did they ask it to turn on once and it worked, obviously no one's touching it. A second time they got it to do it. And then Are you fucking kidding me? What the Keep in mind we have to spend the night here. <laughs> Please turn the light off for us, spirits. Don't you fucking do it. Turn it all the way off. Don't, don't, don't. Thank you. Oh, fuck, don't, oh my god. What Please try. Oh my god. Dude, okay, and then it turns off completely, but it's not in the way that you would expect a flashlight to turn off. It's almost like it loses power. It turned on twice as if a flashlight turned on. Cool, but that could be, you know, some sort of, like, remote control that's like later on or whatever, but this is obviously like a flashlight's losing power. It's not like an instant turn off, it's not like a click of a button, it's literally like, what flashlight turns off like, hmm. You know, that just doesn't happen. And they caught it, not once, not twice, but three times on camera. And they're obviously not touching it, and they have a high quality camera to see everything around it. So like, I don't know about you, I want to believe things are real, and that is just like my thing. Obviously, I know this is BuzzFeed Unsolved. They do have a high budget to make things happen. So like, yeah, this could be just like the other TV shows, and they could be faking something. However, if they did, they did a fantastic job job because these guys are have some very very genuine reactions and it's very clear as to what paranormal activity is going on in the shot there's no like blurry footage there's no like you know weird things that move it's literally like power turning on and off anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video please let me know which ones you thought were real which ones you thought were fake if you guys want me to react or debunk more ghost videos please just give this video a like it's the best way that I know that you like my content. But yeah, I love these videos and I'll see you next week with another friggin' video. Peace out. So I don't know, man.